Today for offense, we're going to do a variety of different drills. We're going to begin with a, uh, a lid exercise, a folder, a book, anything you have that you can place between your hands. It's to get a visual for palm up, palm down at point of contact. The way this exercise is going to work, you're going to place the book, lid, whatever you have in between your hands like so. You're going to just set yourself up, still working on everything else we've been talking about. We don't want to neglect other parts of our swing, rhythm, timing. We're going to work on our load, our separation, and as we come through on the zone, we're going to turn our shoulders, and we should have palm down, palm up, okay? And the lid, pushing against the lid with both hands, allows for me to get a better visual of where my hand placement is. So I'm here, working on my rhythm timing, I'm coming through, palm up, palm down, right in this position. Very simple, basic exercise. I would encourage doing it right before you go into some of your swings. The next exercise we're going to be working on are barrel turns. We're going to do this by just using our top hand. And for this exercise, I want you guys to have a mental note of some sort of ball at the end of the barrel uh, of your bag. The reason for this is I'm going to get into post stride position to eliminate the lower half since we're really just focusing on our turn. I have my knob to catcher like we talk about. The reason I want you to have that visual, the ball at the end of the bat, is to help give us a mindset of dropping that ball onto our back heel, okay? So the way this exercise is gonna work, again, knob to catcher, I'm here, and I'm turning. I'm staying tight, connected with my hands, my chest, my core, my shoulders, and I'm simply turning that barrel with my upper half, here. And you can see, my barrel is now over my back heel as if I was dropping a ball onto my back heel on my swing. Again, once you get going, Kind of pick up the rhythm and tempo here, and you can eventually swing and hit the ball off the tee. That are that is the drill for barrel turns. The third exercise we're going to be doing today is a single knee load, uh, a load step into our our swing. We're really focusing on driving off of that back leg, so we're going to start in a lunge position. Our back leg is planted, our lead leg is right off the ground. The way this exercise is gonna work, we're gonna start with our hands in the hitting position. We're here. When we go to step up, I want you to imagine driving all that weight into that back heel, into the ground. So we're here, and I'm right on through. I'll give you a nice slow-mo version of it. I'm here, I'm driving into this back heel, right here coming up and I'm loaded into my stride coming through. Okay, again it'll look like this. Right on through. The fourth exercise we're going to work on is a hop drill. This is weight transfer, building off of our last one. We're going to set ourselves up to the plate just like we normally do. When we do this hop drill, it's very important that when we hop, we get to the front part of the plate where we normally uh, land with our front foot, okay? So, I'm gonna hop forward, back, and through. Do it again. Forward, back, and through. It's a rhythm exercise, it's a balance exercise, it's a weight transfer exercise, Make sure you're staying balanced, stay controlled. Put some markers down uh, for ind indicators if you need to of where you want to be landing and striding through. And those are your four hitting exercises for the day.